what's up y'all all right i'm back with a ulta in sephora hall so you know yeah don't know what i'm saying let me take a sip of my tea all right i'm back checking messages doing that stuff so Bo is sleeping so this is a great time so i'm gonna try not to speed this up I'm gonna do my best but anyway I've been in a drought I haven't bought anything in mad long so I was like you know what Lou what do you love to buy beauty so I was like all right let me buy a few things get myself together because I need to like I'm leading up to going back to work in January so I was like let's prepare let's get us let's get our mind our body our skin right so I was like let me do a haul let me let me order some stuff so I'm so excited about what I ordered. <clears throat> and this is just the first of many. I probably do like a few more hauls because the girl's getting back. She's getting back into it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm excited. First thing, I'm gonna start off with Sephora stuff. So got me, okay, I'm a faithful user of Hum anyway. I've used their pre and probiotic, which I also bought. I've used their Here Comes the Sun, their um, Moody kind of thing. I've used a lot of stuff. So I am using now their hair, um, hair, their hair vitamins. Okay, it's for healthier, for stronger, healthier hair. Has biotin, folic acid, foti. Not sure what that is. B12, zinc, and pava. Don't know what that is either but um a lot of people said like after you have the baby sometimes your hair falls out um i'm still taking prenatal vitamins i don't know like my my ob said to continue to do so so i am taking them but i wanted to take some take additional like biotin just in case that i experience like hair loss as of right now i haven't experience any hair loss i mean i feel i feel like i have like regular like your hair comes out natural but i haven't seen anything like obsessive so i'm i'm okay right now but i want to do that and i want to get some postnatal um vitamins so if you guys know about any postnatal vitamins drop down below yours truly the pre and probiotic come on focus focus okay the pre and probiotic hum this is the deal this is my everything i've been using this for years oh no i'm lying i lied not for years probably like two years but i see a major difference especially like in my skin my skin be on the up and up when i do this like my skin my bowel movements this is the deal like I didn't take I stopped taking a pre and probiotic in my pregnancy I want to say like the fifth month and I was just taking my prenatals it was fine but now that I'm off and I'm what three months 13 weeks postpartum I said it's about that time because I see myself getting little breakouts in this area um, I'm trying to like regulate my diet for everything to kind of like get back to normal so it's all in the process and I'm happy I went ahead and got this. I got me a moisturizer. So <laughs> I haven't bought moisturizer in a long time. And the reason is because I get a lot of stuff from, from the company I work for. So and I like to use their products a lot because their products are awesome. So I just this 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 has been in my cart for I feel like ten years. I'm over exaggerating but I've been wanting to use this for a long time um, I've been using it I used it this morning and then I also used it last night and it has your girl's skin looking juicy and I love that for me I love that for me and I think my son loves that for me too like it just gives me like has my skin looking super juicy like very hydrated and I've been honest with you since I've been pregnant my my skin has gotten a little drier. I'm, I, I was typically like a very oily person. Now my skin is just like, in my opinion, dry. I want to say I'm the Sahara de Desert, but I'm definitely drier than what I'm used to. And 
when I put this on, like it just makes gives my skin a glow. It's not like, oh, I look oily or super slick. It's just it's giving me glow. It's giving it's giving healthy. It's giving mm, it's giving mm -mm, good. Like your skin, we don't know is that a filter? Like it, it, that's what it's giving me, and um, I like that for me. So far, so good. I haven't you know made talk to me in like two weeks to see if I still love it, but. This is probably is my favorite product through the entire haul. I'm not even gonna lie. Cause your girl has been trying to go natural deodorant for a while now. And I think we hit the buzzer. I think we got a winner. And it's really the packaging for me. It's giving me simple but luxe. It's giving me, I'm sophisticated. It's giving me, this is a grown ass woman's deodorant. Like I'm not putting on Dove or Secret like at Sephora only. It's giving me glass container. It's giving me, it's giving a lot. Um, and I really like it. <laughs> I know this might be like, okay girl, like for real, but no, for real. This is the deal. If you're trying to transition into a natural deodorant, which I've been trying to do for a long time, this is it. It has that eucalyptus smell. It is a gel deodorant and it does have, it's a roller. And it smells fresh as F, AF, fresh, fresh, fresh. Um, I put it on last night before I went to bed. I still felt very fresh. I felt very secure within myself. And you know, it, I'm living in New York, so I'm transitioning into like winter. And I'm like, we don't know how it lives in the summer, but right now it's doing what it needs to do. And I really, really like it. It's working out. I got the Gomage Sephora scrub, which is our sugar body scrub. Super hydrating. Um, again, my skin has gotten dry, especially my body skin, hella dry. So I needed something a little bit more hydrating um, as moisturizer. I haven't found that in a body cream as yet, but as far as like getting dead skin um, skin off, I went ahead and purchased this. And so far so good. It doesn't leave my bathroom super slick at all. Um, I do feel like the consistency, like, let me show you guys the consistency. I'm not used to that, this kind of consistency. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't want to say it's gummy because it's not gummy, but like when I'm in the shower, I feel like, like gooey, it could be, a, it gives like gooey, but it does what it needs to do. I feel like there's a lot, um. Sometimes with the ones that feel like gooey, you may feel like, oh, it's just a whole bunch of hydration. It's not a lot of salt, not a lot of exfoliation. This is not the case with that. It's just that I feel after I take a shower and my skin is like just wet. And when I kind of put my hand in it, it it's kind of gives me that gooey texture. And it could be because I have water on my hands. I'm not sure, but it definitely does its job. And it's, this is on dry skin. Oh, maybe I should try it dry. Maybe. Oh, okay. Maybe I should try it dry. I'll try it dry next time. Like my skin is a little bit dry and rinse off. I'll let you know how that goes. But um, right now it feels great. But um, yeah, and it kind of gives me like this, like not overly oily. Like I don't feel like a slick when I finish or um, exfoliate, but I definitely feel um, hydrated. I feel like it does what it needs to do for sure. And the smell of it is like, I don't know the smell. I can't put my, it smells good though. It's lightly scented. It's not overly like scented. Like my other scrub, it's like, you can smell it. But this scrub is not overly scented. So it doesn't com conflict with like my Sephora moisturizer, which I did, I am using, but I think I still need to get something a little bit heavier, but, um, it feels good. It feels real good. I like it. So now we're gonna be getting into Ulta stuff. This stuff is good too. I know, I know, I know. All right, all right, all right. That's we're already in scrubs. I got this one. Can you see it? Yeah, you can. This is the Shea Sugar Scrub from Tree Hut. Um, I've used a lot of, I used to use like the brown sugar. Oh, what was it? vanilla or something scrub from them and I thought I'd try something different and this one is the exotic bloom this is scented I used this last night 
I feel like okay so this <laughs> so this girl makes me feel like you know remember I have like a girl or like you just know someone who's always smelling like super sweet like she smells like straight candy like straight candy like she just smells like a damn just candy like so sweet this is what it reminds me of like girl you smell like candy you smell like product candy or you said you smell like a straight like starburst or you smell like a straight like jolly rinser like it, it's you smell good but you smell like you're gonna give me a cavity like <laughs> in a good way I, I don't know about I might edit this one out but anyway um that's how I feel about this one it smells really good this is not typically what I would pick up because I like my scent palette is like I lost my train of thought <sighs> Lucy <laughs> back to it um so with the sugar scrub i feel like this is not kind of the my palette that i go for i like vanillas i like the warm scents like vanilla um what else uh oud like something really like sp i like spicy warm this is kind of like fruity light girly which I, I like it and it, it smells really good and you once you you know you ever had a scrub like my Sephora scrub like once I scrub my body you can't really smell it because it's so lightly scented this like when I got out the shower yesterday I smell mad good like I was like oh I I'm lit I smell mad good like my scrub has left its aura on me I'm smelling very bed ready like my man comes sleep with sleep next to me. He's gonna be like, mm, "Baby, you smell mad good." Like, that's the kind of energy <laughs> the scrub gives you. Like, "Damn, baby, what you put on tonight? Like, you smell amazing." That's the energy for this, for sure. I got this now. This is okay. Oh, can y'all see Pacifica? It's a coconut and charcoal underarm detox scrub. Free your pits and charcoal and green tea. Now. I saw one of these influence doing, I don't know if it was this one per se, but I saw that she was detoxing her underpits and I was like, oh my God, I need to do that because I'm allergic to the Dove deodorant, you know? Um, I feel like it makes me super itchy and it doesn't, it's, it doesn't do what it, it, it could do. I feel like prior to when I was pregnant it would work but now it's like it's not working for me and they said this is a really good scrub for transitioning into natural deodorants so my goal is to kind of like take do this once a week as I transition so I did it for the first time last night so last night was like my little self-care deal I guess like just doing a little small things to kind of like be better and um I did that and it was good and it felt really good like even now I feel like my underarms are super it's, it's they're dry I'm not sweating and it works really well so far with the deodorant that I showed from Sephora so this is a must-have for sure I just wanted to be a part of the game that's all so I got me a nice glow clip uh, I'm not saying that I'm using it with my hair now but when it's straight I'm gonna be using a clip y'all so be ready this is cute this is my last purchase I got a curl in my hair. Ah. so I've been needing a barrel curl iron forever so when I'm not wearing my hair natural I typically have my hair in a wig like I've been wearing wigs my whole pregnancy probably I want to say for the most of it like especially my postpartum my maternity leave your girl's been wigged out so um now I'm just like in a place where I'm like okay I need a barrel coral since if I'm not wearing my hair natural or if I'm not wearing my natural hair straight I typically am wearing a wig just to kind of protect my hair and not put too much stress on my hair and stuff like that and I was like I need a curling iron I need a barrel curl so when I want to do like a cute hairstyle I can have one so this is it here I got it on sale it was on sale for like $118 I got it from it was $169 and I guess it was like a 20% off 
for um, Ulta and their curler iron. So I got me a really nice curler iron. I'm so excited about it. Because typically your girl gets a cheap curler iron. But I was like, I've been wanting like to upgrade my hair tools because... I don't go to the I don't get my personal hair done like my own hair done quite often I probably get my nap like to be honest with you I didn't get my natural hair done really probably all year this is I got a haircut and some color but most of the time if I go to the salon I'm getting a sew-in or a wig or I'm not going to the salon at all so I wanted to be in a place or create a place at home where it's like okay I don't have to rely on our hair salon the only if I'm going to hair salon I can just look at the hair salon is getting like trims and like color but if I wanted to do my hair myself I should be able to do that in my home like I shouldn't have to make an appointment just to kind of like do basic things to my hair like you know I shouldn't have to do that when I was younger I used to do that and for a long time I used to do that but like it's not realistic like for me now it's just like the time the money it's just not realistic i need to be able to do simple things at home so sometimes that requires it requires you like upgrading your tools and that's exactly what i did so i'm excited about it um i have a wig coming um it's really just a refurbished wig that i already had and um she's like changing the part on it and stuff like that and i was like ooh, when i put the barrel clothes on that baby <laughs> delicious so i'm excited i'm just excited you know so that is it that's all my stuff this is just the beginning this is my haul for just like you know in the beginning because I haven't bought any makeup yet because I'm very excited I'm excited to buy some makeup like no idea I have, I'm super excited to get in it I need to be looking like what's new I haven't walked into Sephora in a thousand years like I'm excited okay guys so that concludes my haul thank you guys for watching and there is more to come to the sephora and ulta hauls bye